Did you hear? Hear what? The Bitcoin. What about the Bitcoin? The Bitcoin price is going up. What? Impossible. I thought Bitcoin was dead. It's alive. The code is just doing its thing. What is the code doing exactly? Bitcoin's code is designed to slowly sneak into the existing financial system and eventually become a global payment system. Will the government shut it down? Well, if the sneaking happens too quickly, governments will attempt to. But if it happens slow enough and volatile enough, the progress is irreversible. So since Bitcoin is volatile and slow, governments didn't pay much attention to it. Now that it's made its way into the system, it would be really hard to shut down. Yes, first they ignored it, then they laughed at it. Now they have to fight it or embrace it. So if nobody controls Bitcoin and it's just some internet money, how does it sneak into our financial system? Here enters the halving cycle. You see, every four years, the Bitcoin protocol cuts the distribution of new coins in half. You're saying the supply of new Bitcoin gets cut in half? Yep, about every four years this will happen. To put this in context, here are two Bitcoin miners. Hey bro, how much Bitcoin did you mine this year? Only half as much as last year. What about you? Same, I received half of what I usually get. Damn, this sucks. What should we do about it? We can't do anything. Changing the supply is impossible. Oh yeah, you're right. Let's get back to work and mine more. Yeah, if we don't, the other miners will leave us with nothing. Now, what impact would this have on the price? Well, um, less Bitcoin would be available and the price would go up. You got it. So if this is happening every four years, we should see that in Bitcoin's price chart, right? I guess so. Well, you can. A Bitcoin halving causes a supply shock. People buying the supply shortage drives up the price. So it's just a simple game of supply and demand? Pretty much. Coins are bought up by people that won't sell. Eventually, no more Bitcoin is for sale at $10,000, only $500,000. If Bitcoin is this valuable, why don't we use every computer on the planet to mine it? This means we can mine more of it, get paid and become rich. Well, no, you can't. Here comes the role of a two-week difficulty adjustment. What does the two-week difficulty adjustment do? Let's go back to the Bitcoin miners. If everyone knows about the halving cycle, miners will hire more workers to front-run the future price swings. Hey, bro. What's up, bro? So you know how these supply shocks cause the price to go up? Yeah, yeah, price goes up. What if we hire a bunch of miners to get more Bitcoin in advance of the supply crunch? Then when the supply gets cut in half again, we'll have more Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, bro, that idea is genius. These miners would be much richer if this idea worked. Fortunately, as more and more miners start mining, the Bitcoin algorithm automatically adjusts mining difficulty. And Bitcoin's code just does this automatically, with no leaders? Yes, that's the beauty of it. If 10 people show up to mine, it's no different from 1 million people showing up to mine. So no matter how many miners show up for work, they will still find the same amount? Exactly. Now where does this take us? Well, that all depends on how much the world continues to trust government-backed currencies. Regardless of whether Bitcoin becomes preferred global money, its scarcity will keep increasing, and these price jumps will follow.